Hey guys, how are you doing? I am getting on here to talk to you guys about one of the like most common questions that I get. You're gonna hear answers to this that are yes, no, maybe, um, but I'm going to tell you how I feel about it, the research that I've seen and, and some of the things that have happened to me. Um, and this information is based on um, like the info I have after coaching clients for, you know, the past four years. So a lot of people, you know, ask this all the time. Can you lose fat and build muscle at the same time? Um, I think the most common answer you may see um, for people that don't have as much experience um, with their own personal journey and coaching, maybe no. Um, and then your next popular answer is going to be maybe. And then maybe the least, sorry, the least popular answer um, may end up being yes. Um, but the answer from me is yes. And I'm going to explain the situations where it can happen. So yes, it can, but there are some situations where it does not happen as well um, or does not happen as all, at all. Um, so speaking of like, like the law um, of thermodynamics, the first law, law, which is like the movement of energy, um, we talk about how you're in a caloric maintenance a caloric surplus or a caloric deficit. When you're maintaining weight, you're eating exactly the calories you're burning. When you are gaining weight, no matter what it is, muscle um, or fat, you are eating more than you're burning. And when you're losing weight um, and more preferentially losing um, fat, you are eating less calories um, or you're burning more calories than you need through eating less and or um, doing more exercise. So you're basically just burning it off in some way, shape, or form. So usually to build muscle, you must store um, energy. And then to lose fat, you must burn energy. And so that's the same as that calories in, calories out. But when you're in an energy surplus, your body will store energy. And when you're in an energy um, deficit, your body is also losing energy. And therefore, to be in an energy surplus to gain, you must be in energy surplus to gain muscle, and you must be in an energy deficit to lose fat. Um, so this is all talking about like the conversion of energy, um, but it also kind of goes hand in hand with saying that energy just can't disappear. Like your energy has to go um, somewhere. So when you're building new fat or muscle cells, your body requires energy and breaking them down releases energy. So when it comes to like your muscle tissue and your fat tissue, they are like completely different um, functional compartments in your body. So your body will direct um, calories and or energy. They're the same thing, whatever term you want to use. Your body will actually direct calories to your muscle mass of your body and your fat mass of your body independently. So you've got like four components of mass in your body. You're going to have water. You're going to have bone, you're going to have muscle, and then you're going to have fat. And then the fifth one that we're not going to talk about is just like your organs. Um, but basically those four major things, but your body will always direct um, the energy or those calories to your fat mass and your muscle mass independently. So they're treating them differently. And this is almost like a partitioning or portioning of calories for these like different routes. So if you're training, if you're training, and this means like your strength training and your exercise and your nutrition program is optimized, it means that you can actually simultaneously, and this is what I love, simultaneously build muscle and um, lose fat at the same time. So when you are in a cut or a deficit or you're leaning out, you're shredding, all those four terms are the same things. You can actually shred body fat, lose body fat, lean out and drop your body fat 
while building muscle at the same time, but your training has to be optimized and so are your macros. So some people, when they're just calorie counting and they're not looking to see if they're getting enough protein to build their muscle mass, they're eating in a deficit of 1,200, 16, 1,800, 2,000, 1,500, and they may be losing weight and losing muscle, but you can be in a deficit and drop body weight and put on muscle. In my last three separate preps, I put on muscle in every case. So the first one, I actually got like the skinniest and I had the, the lowest amount of muscle mass. I put on muscle mass until the last four weeks and then I lost like a pound. On my second prep, um, I ended up putting on two pounds of muscle. And I know you're like, oh, two pounds. But when you cut your calories as severely as I had to for my preps, Putting on two pounds of muscle and dropping your calories by 40% is huge. And in the last prep, um, I ended up putting on three pounds of muscle. And then in between that second and third prep, I ended up putting on five pounds of muscle um, over like a seven month spread. So it really matters if your macros are optimized and you're not just eating like below where you need to be on your protein. And you're also making sure that your training is optimized. So if you are eating less and you're doing cardio, you're not going to build muscle and burn fat at the same time. You're going to burn your muscle and you're going to burn fat. And that's usually not what people are trying to do. So it's going to be like a combination of both. Um, so the rate at which you build muscle and drop fat is also based on these two like major things, not four, these two major things. And they are your starting body fat percentage and your training experience. So the higher your body fat percentage is, and the less experience you have, the more gains that you'll have. And the gain, when I say gains in this sense, it's like progress. Um, so this is like the progress that you're gonna actually have. So the higher your body fat percentage is, you'll drop the body fat percentage faster. Um, so the least or the, the lower amount of training you have and the experience you have, you'll actually have um, faster muscle gains and you're going to lean out faster, put on muscle faster because your muscles have not been doing these things. Like your muscles are not used to lifting weights. If you've been doing cardio for the last two years and then you're working up to two days a week of lifting, you're going to have more muscle gains. And then a month later, if you're up to three days and then a month later, four days, you're going to have faster muscle gains than someone like me that's at in an intermediate or advanced level. Um, so beginners that have definitely a higher body fat percentage of like over 18%, or someone who's just out of shape, has never done anything, is going to have a faster rate of muscle growth and a faster rate of fat loss than someone else. Um, also, if you've been training right but not eating right, you're also going to be able to put on muscle and drop your body fat percentage at the same time. Um, and then people that are on steroids, yes, you're gonna put on muscle mass and you're gonna drop your body fat percentage at the same um, dang time. If any of you guys are on here while um, I'm talking, feel free to throw some questions that you have um, in here. Um, but there's kind of like three ways that this happens. So when you are changing your percentage of your muscle mass, and your body fat mass that's called body recomposition. You'll also see like body recomp or muscle recomp, but you're actually recompositioning your body. And this can happen with your weight staying the same. So your distribution of fat can go towards muscle. Um, so you're basically recompositioning the percentages of the muscle and the fat in your body. But the most common way to recomp your body is when you lose weight, but you're gaining muscle at the same time and this can happen when there's like a large amount of body fat that you have that is compared that is lost compared to the amount of muscle that that is gained so the so for this scenario this person their total weight is going to go down so they're going to lose weight they're going to put on muscle and their body fat percentage is going to drop like this is the most common body recomposition um, and then the next scenario is um, when you are actually maintaining your weight, but you're equally replacing the same amount of fat 
with muscle mass over a longer period of time. So a lot of you guys saw that I said um, in 2016, I only lost two pounds, but I went from, I think, 29% body fat to 18%, a size eight to a size six, and I only changed two pounds. I think I went from like 138 to 136, and then I ended up putting on um, like five pounds of muscle in that year as well. So this is what like a regular like recomposition definition is, where your body weight nearly stays the same same but you lose crazy inches your you know waist shrinks in you see muscle definition um, if you're trying to grow a booty the booty grows it sits up higher you see muscle um, in your delts you're seeing a cap shoulder you're seeing like the nice little muscle definition um, from your deltoids and your triceps you get a muscle pump you see the bicep popping um, sometimes you see your quads popping but you're the same dang weight so some people that get really frustrated when the weight the scale is staying the same and you're eating right you're in a deficit you're working hard you're getting stronger you're running faster most of you guys are recompositioning your body and you're replacing Placing an equal amount of body fat with muscle and it's just happening over time this can happen over three months six months 18 months um, and then the last scenario of body recomposition is when you can gain weight but you lose fat at the same time um, and this is usually one situation um, that is not as desirable but you can drop body fat percentage and put on muscle mass and gain weight so this is what you would kind of call like a lean bulk meaning that your weight's going up your mass muscle mass is going up but you're dropping your body fat percentage um so i mean that's like the other um scenarios so those three scenarios happen with the recomposition so yes you can drop your body fat percentage um, and lean out and put muscle on at the same time where your overall weight is going down where your overall weight is staying the same on the scale or your um, overall weight is um, increasing. But it all comes down to the way that you're training and what your nutrition is like, whether you're in um, that deficit or not. So if you have um, any more questions about this, let me know. Oh, and the other thing to note, um, as you get leaner, and you drop your body fat percentage and you put on more muscle, your rate of fat loss and muscle gains will decrease over time. So the leaner that I have gotten, the longer it takes for me to drop body fat percentage. So some people can drop like one to 5% or I'll say like, mm, it could be as much as 6%, two to 6% body fat percentage in one month. For me now, it's like half percent to 1.5%. So the leaner that you get, the slower that rate of conversion um, happens. So you're going to put on muscle slower. You're going to drop fat um, slower um, as well. Um, and it's almost like you're getting closer and closer to like this cap or like, you know, you're going to hit the stopping point. So the more out of shape you are and the larger your body fat percentage is, the faster you will be able to have those muscle gains and that fat dropping. So that's why beginners can go on like a weight loss challenge or start a program and it's like, dang, they're down 18 inches in one month. Or when you see those like phenomenal stories of 20 to 30 pounds lost um, in a month by a male or female that is what usually happens it's what you call beginner um, gains like we all want those every month of the year but it's just not possible the more in shape you get the slower your progress of getting faster and leaner um, and getting more muscle mass that rate just drops I mean that's just what happens because our bodies become more efficient when you get more muscle mass and you drop your body fat percentage lower but basically, um, overall, that's the answer to the question. Can you lose fat and build muscle at the same time? The answer is absolutely yes.